Hey guys, so I know that by the title, you're trying to figure out what's going on. The idea of this video came from a conversation out on the water. We were talking about Cyrus's vision and the mission of rack fishing. So what we started discussing was about um, a couple of individuals that were prior military were out at one of the events and they were kind of feeding off of each other. We talked about the fact that the traumas of combat are real and everybody deals with them a little bit differently than you know each other. What I want to speak to are my brothers and sisters at arms that are dealing with those traumas from combat, many of them serving multiple times as myself in combat, some up to six, seven, 10 times. And so I was only over there twice. I can say only because I know people that have been over there quite a bit more than I was. And so one of the things that we started talking about was that men typically, we just don't express our feelings. We don't express what's going on within our psyche. Uh, it's just a, a known thing. I know that guys that I deal with and have dealt with, I was in the infantry. So I was in 82nd Airborne Division, Alpha Company 3504. And we, it was just all males. And so us expressing ourselves, we didn't really do that very often. And so that's the typical thing for most combat armed guys. They don't really talk about it. So we do have resources out there. We have therapists, we have therapy groups and different things like that. But like I said, most men want, aren't going to open up or even use those resources because we're just not used to expressing ourselves in that manner. The next question that came up was, when you found religion, is that how you were able to deal with the tough times? A resounding yes was my answer. When I gave my heart to Christ back in 2005 and my relationship with him formed, it was the beginning of my healing. And so Matthew 11:28 says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so that was one of the scriptures that I leaned to because in my mind, my mind was racing all over the place sometimes, you know, thinking about, you know, just things that happen, guys that I know that, you know, are no longer here. And so, so in the military, we were told to suck it up. But the Bible says in the multitude of counsel, their safety. In the military, we were told, just push through it. You're going to make it through. Just push through. It. But Jesus said, cast your cares at his feet and he's going to take care of them. So it was easier for me once I had a relationship with Christ to actually lean into the things of God and let him heal me. Uh, one of the famous theologians, Charles Spurgeon, said that every single person has a God-shaped hole in their heart and only God can fill that hole. So there's a need, there's a void that each one of us has, and God's the only one that can fill it. He yearns and longs to have a relationship with each one of us. And so most people dealing with PTSD, you know, they kind of drown it out. They try to suppress it or just try to forget about the traumas of PTSD. And most of the time they think they can just do it on their own. But you, you get to a certain point and you realize you just cannot do it on your own. You need help. Um, but most of the time we just don't reach out for that help. And so, like I said, I did two tours. And after those two tours, I really didn't express myself either. I didn't talk to my wife about, you know, the things that happened over there. I didn't talk to my mom about those things because I was just, you know, being the man and, you know, just sucking it up. So when I gave my heart to Christ, I allowed him to transform the label of PTSD to something totally different. Uh, so PTSD stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. But once I found a new relationship with Christ, I allowed God to change those letters into something different. And it sounds like this, perfectly transformed, saved, and delivered. Paul said in one of his letters that when we are in Christ, we're a new creation. The old things pass away and in Christ, all things become new. So the reason why the word perfectly is in there is because I didn't do a single thing. Christ did it all. And he is the perfect one. The only thing I did was allow him to just rule my life. 
So why wouldn't I follow him? Why wouldn't I do exactly what he desires? Because he knows my future. He's the one that created me. He has purpose for each one of us. The easy thing to do is just allow him to have access to every decision that you make because he knows the end. He knows the end result. He knows what's coming down the road for you. He knows the obstacles you're going to face. And so if he makes the decision, it's going to be much better than me making my own decisions. Because Jesus said himself, he is the way, the truth, and the life. There's That means there's only one. And he said, the only way to come to the Father is through him. So if I do that, the burden is off of me and it allows him to take care of those things that I was dealing with. So now when the ugly uh, thoughts of PTSD pop up, you know, whether it's I'm hearing something in a song about God being a defender, he's my fortress, he's my healer, he's my helper. I get a little emotional because I think about when I was going through those things of how he saved me. And I quickly reflect on how God delivered my life through Jesus Christ into where I am today. Now, am I perfect? Heck no. I'm not even close to being perfect, but he is perfect. And so when I come to those times, I often open up the Psalms and I think about and I read about David, how he was this mighty warrior and he was God's man. He was the man after God's own heart. But yet, if you read the Psalms, David dealt with depression. He dealt with, you know, the trauma of running away from his kingdom because he was being sought after by Saul, who was trying to kill him. And all he wanted to do was serve Saul. So I will tell you this, guys. God wants to have a relationship with each one of you. You hear me talk about it all the time, and it is true. My relationship with Christ, it has been the best decision I have ever made in my life. It's even better than my decision of marrying my wife. I absolutely love my wife. We've been married for 23 years now. And I'm extremely happy and I love that woman. But my love for Christ surpasses that tenfold because he saved me. And so I will tell you guys, trust in God, believe in him. He is there for you. He wants to have a relationship with you. And it's really easy. It's so simple. You don't have to. And many of you guys have been to church before and you saw things that just didn't, that turned you off from church. I get it. But you've been to restaurants before that had bad food, but you continue to go to restaurants to eat. Find a church that God is leading you to. And I will tell you this. My church is Glory to Glory Ministries in Tampa, Florida. The address will be in the description below. I welcome you guys to come and, and visit. Uh, you will find a different place there in the sense that the people at Glory to Glory absolutely love God's people. They just love people. When you do come, you're going to get a lot of hugs. You're going to get a lot of handshakes. And you're going to find out that there's a lot of guys there that have been through the same thing that you've been through. You will also find the truth being preached. So a lot of times we hear out in the world about, especially on the news about, you know, just different things that you, you come to find out later that they're false. Once you come there, you're going to find the truth. Uh, because my pastor, whose name is Bishop Aubrey Shines, he speaks the truth all the time. I welcome you guys. Come. If you want to come and talk to me, you can go to the about section on my channel, hit me up and I can talk to you at any time, whether we can talk through email, through phone, it doesn't matter guys. I just want you guys healed. I want you to come to a relationship with Jesus Christ because one day we're leaving from this earth. That is a promise that we're going to leave from this earth and we have to stand before God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. So guys, I love you enough to do this video. It's not about the likes. It's not about the shares. Well, I hope you guys do share it so that way others can see. But this is more from my heart speaking out about 
those that are battling those, those inner things that they have going on. People will call them inner demons. It could be because demons are real. But God wants to heal you from all that hurt, all that pain. Don't be the tough guy. Don't be the tough man saying, I can do this on my own. Because if you could do it on your own, it would have already been taken care of. Turn it over to Christ. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free from all those things that you're going through. So guys, trust me. If there's one thing I will tell you is that allowing God, Jesus Christ, into your heart is the best decision that you can make. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. But I tell you this, I love you. May God bless you. May he keep you. Peace.